Hi everyone! This is Gail the Happy Stamper and today I am going to be using my really really big 12 by 24 basic bright pack from Cricut and I'm also using tags, bags, boxes and more. This is a really great cartridge. I just love it. And I'm also going to be using today doodle charms and this has to be one of my favorites as well. So what I'm going to be making today is a blessings box. I've seen several of these on the internet and they're filled with treats and things and I think that's really cute. However, um, I want Thanksgiving to have a little more meaning for my family and I thought what better way than to make this gift bag. And again, this is from Tags, Bags, Boxes and More. I am on page 115 and um, I'm using my great big 12 by 24 inch mat. So I wanted to make the gift bag as big as this paper will let me. So I've got my fit to page button on. I've used my mat size button to let it know that I'm using 12 by 24 and I'm going to go down row four and over four. Poke that button and it's going to show the gift bag over there and then I am going to simply hit press. It's also going to tell me or cut the size and it should come up to be 11 and a half. Yep. Okay. So we'll get that cutting. This is such a mambo size mat. It's so fun. Um, but that's what you need to use if you're making something, you know, big. So, okay, we'll let that go to town and cut. And then we're going to come over here and I am going to show you what else I've done. To save some time, I've gone ahead and, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry, didn't mean to bump that. I've gone ahead and I have taken my gift bag, which this is how big it is. I've applied my red sticky tape, like so, to all the areas that need it, and along the edge. Ah, I'm getting bumped. This thing is so huge. All right, so I've gone ahead, folded it together, put it together like so, okay? This is what it will look like when it's all together. And I went ahead and I wrote, just freehanded, on the front, family blessings, like so. Then what I did was, using my Doodle Charms Cricut, and this comes from page 124, I went ahead and I cut out, I'm sorry, yeah, 124. I did my little turkey. Any cute little turkey? I also sponged my turkey, like so, with just my little sponge, and I used Stamping Up Soft Suede. So I went around the edges, I did that, and now I'm going to add the little, I don't know what this thing is called, but it's the little, it looks like a little chef's hat. Um, and I'm going to just apply that to my little turkey leg. Turkey, turkey. I bought the cutest stamp, it said, had a little turkey and said, eat ham, eat ham. Okay, so I'm going to set that aside. And then on page 90 of my um, tags, bags, boxes, and more, I made a gift tag. So I did that. Don't mind, I had to pull it off and redo this. And I cut that out. And this, again, is with soft suede cardstock from Stampin' Up!, I went around the edges, do 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 do, sponged it, and I added some ribbon to it. And this pack I got from the store that has the big bullseye in the dollar section, and was a dollar. And I got this cute little thin yellow at Michael's, and I think it was like 50 cents. So I just put those through the cute tag, and that's ready to go. Also, one other thing. When you are scoring your bag, when it comes out of your Cricut, I couldn't get mine into my paper trimmer. So I just use my 12-inch um, ruler and I just whoop, do it like that. And you'll see all the little marks that come out and it'll tell you where to score it so you'll know to fold. Okay, then 
I went ahead and I also cut out, and this is from Doodle Charms, these little leaves, um, and these are on page 115. This was the leaf that I used, and I cut out a leaf for everyone. So I just did them in some fall colors, and I freehanded on here, I am thankful for, and I just did that with my black pen, and then everyone will get one on Thanksgiving, and they will write their answer on the back. They don't have to put their name on it, but they will write, I'm thankful for my home, plenty of food, warm you know, nice clothes, our beautiful animals, whatever they're thankful for. And they, again, don't have to put their name. So then I am going to put all the leaves in my cute little box, like so. And we will pass this around at the dining room table and each person will just randomly pick one and they will read it. I also cut an extra leaf out. Again, went around it to give it a little dimension. And then I hope you can see, I colored it just drew quick little lines on it, um, you know, to kind of give the leaf some dimension. So I am going to take my pop dots and put them on the back of my turkey. Gobble, gobble. I love Thanksgiving. I don't know about you guys, but I totally love it. It could not be better. It's one of my favorite holidays. No pressure. You just... Count your blessings, man. We are so lucky we live where we do and have what we have. And I just, I don't want anyone in my family to forget that. And I'm going to put a couple on, don't mind my handwriting on the back of that. We had a casualty earlier and made a boo-boo. But you know what? That's the beauty of paper. You can turn it over and use the other side. So just because you make a mistake, don't worry about it. Just flip it over, use the other side, and that's the end of it. All right, so here I have my leaf with my little pop dots. The bag, it cuts out this little tab for you. So what I did was I, I really like adding this little thin ribbon to the big ribbons. You know, when I, I do several colors, I just, I really like it. So I'm just going to... Turn this to the side, take my little ribbons, put it through the slit, and just tie a little knot. Easy peasy, no big deal. Looking cute. Oh, I love that. That's so cute. Okay, then I'm going to take my leaf and I'm gonna put this just off to the side here. And so that is my blessing box. Um, I hope you guys like it. I uh, can't wait to fill out our cards, our little leaves here, and see what everyone in my family is thankful for because I know I am so thankful for them every day and have never lost touch with that. So I hope you like this project. If you have any questions, please email me. Um, at the happy stamper one at gmail.com or you can leave me a message on this post where's my finger Woo on this post there it is um, with any questions that you have so thanks for checking in today and again that was using tags bags boxes and more doodle charms and a little just free-handed writing so thanks again, guys, for checking in. I hope you have a great Saturday. And think about maybe changing up your family tradition and starting a new one with a family blessing bag. All right. Take care, everybody. I'll check back later. Bye-bye.